Yeah, it's our work. Don't talk to the government, man. Yeah. Some 1,600 South Koreans are taking the jobs that could go to their brothers and sisters in the trades. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Hi. Are you from South Korea by any chance? Do you work at the plant? They will come here, get a taxpayer-funded paycheck, and take it back to their country. And to think that a big chunk of that change is going to subsidize people who aren't even Canadians to begin with. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Windsor, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing outside the Nexstar EV battery plant. It's currently under construction. And this is a very controversial project, to say the least. Now, by way of background, Nexstar is a joint venture between Stellantis, a.k.a. Chrysler, and LG Energy Solution. And the plant has received... $15 billion worth of taxpayer subsidies from both the federal and provincial governments. It is indeed a big gamble on the EV revolution that, well, might not even occur in the years ahead. And what's more, my sources have tipped me off that the workplace environment has become somewhat tense in the past several weeks. That's because some of the Canadian workers don't appreciate that some 1,600 South Koreans are taking the jobs that could go to their brothers and sisters in the trades. Here, check out this video that was recently posted on social media. Scabs doing our work. It's our work. Yeah, you guys are us big time. Now, of course, a scab is a term to describe a worker who is temporarily filling the boots of a striking worker. But in this case, um, it's a different kind of definition, isn't it, folks? It's of someone that doesn't even live in the country taking away the job of something that could be done by a Canadian. And for everyone here at Stellantis, uh, Laurie, Mark, thank you for your vision, for your leadership, to our friends at Unifor. Uh, thank you so much for everything you guys have done, uh, fighting for Canadians, fighting for good middle class jobs. The partnerships we've been able to build uh, with labour over the past six years have uh, led in a large part to the kind of success uh, that we've been able to see over the past years in creating good jobs, sustainable for the future. Our government is bringing good jobs back to Ontario's workers. In fact, Conservative leader Pierre Polyev, he has weighed in on this particular matter as well. And now we learn that the $15 billion grant to the Stellantis plant will fund mostly jobs for non-Canadians, not immigrants. We love jobs for immigrants. Jobs for people who are not Canadian citizens and will not be Canadian citizens. They will come here get a taxpayer-funded paycheck and take it back to their country. And folks, it gets worse. My source tells me that right now, as I speak, there are staffers from the Ministry of Labour, the Ontario Ministry of Labour, that is, that are on site. They are allegedly investigating if those South Korean workers have the necessary skill sets, if they indeed have the qualifications uh, to work on this plant that has been claimed in the past. And I've been told this might not necessarily be the case. And if so, I think that is downright scandalous because that is how these workers are being sold. We have been told by the CEO that they have a specialized skill set. Is that indeed the case? And folks, I should tell you that I have indeed reached out to Stellantis and to the Ontario Ministry of Labour, but I have received no feedback thus far. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Hi. Are you from South Korea by any chance? Do you work at the plant? Well, that's been the story of our day here. Um, a lot of people don't want to come on camera for the uh, Canadian workers. It's a matter of uh, they don't want to lose their job. We understand that 
postings to social media have not gone down well with the corporate types and uh, they're trying to find out exactly who it is that is posting those videos and as you just saw I am presuming uh, those two gentlemen are South Korean laborers but um, they wanted nothing to do with having an interview. Bottom line, maybe you are pro-EV, maybe you are anti-EV, maybe you don't really care, but regardless, does the strategy behind this plant make sense? The idea of pouring billions and billions of taxpayer money into a facility that might very well end up as a white elephant soon after it opens, and to think that a big chunk of that change is going to subsidize people who aren't even Canadians to begin with. Please tell me, does this project compute with you? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, I know you love it when Rebel News tells you the other side of the story, but the fact is we need your help. Unlike the mainstream media, we don't receive a nickel's worth of funding from the Justin Trudeau Liberals, nor would we accept it if offered. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation.